Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to cover some of the preferences that you can personalize in your ISIS account. As you can see I'm logged into a training ISIS account. This account does not contain any real student data. So first what we're going to do is click on the preferences tab from the menu on the left. And there are several things that we can modify here to personalize our ISIS account view. Uh, there is a button for changing your password. You don't want to use this button. This is uh, connected to your network account, so you don't want to change the password here. Let's go down to this menu right here. Student name format. I have many ways that I can choose to view my students' names. So the default is to display their last name, comma, first name. But if I choose, I can display their first name and their last name. And as you can see, that updates over here to show students' first names and then last names. Other options available would truncate their first name, truncate their last name. I can also choose to name them by their nicknames. So in order to enter nicknames, we're going to go down to the bottom of this screen, the button that says enter stu Edit Student Nicknames. In here, I can choose nicknames for my students if I would like to. So, Adrian, let's say this student actually goes by Audrey. I would click Save and Return to Seating Chart. Go back to my Preferences tab. And now if I choose to display these by their nickname, I will see that Audrey's name ap appears now as something different. I don't see Adrian anymore. I see her nickname, Audrey. So we will just change that back to the default view. And let's look what else is available in these checkboxes below. You can opt to show student photos. That is the default. If you want to choose to not display their photos, then that will collapse the window, what is viewable, a little bit. So if you've got a lot of students, this may be helpful for you if you don't need to see their pictures. We'll go ahead and turn them back on. Then I've got Show Student ID. Really helpful, especially in the beginning of the year when we're resetting Blackboard passwords and all that good stuff. I've got Show Gender and Grade. This is also especially helpful when we can't always tell a student's gender by their first or their first name, um, especially in the beginning of the year. Show course number. This course number right down here is going to correspond with the course number in Blackboard. So that may be helpful for you if you are combining classes for whatever reason to see which course is what in Blackboard. And perhaps my favorite feature is the show notifications option. What this will do is put a little icon below the student's name to indicate some important information to you. So for instance, this student, Yagna, has a, medi has a medical health condition. If I click on that, I can see that, I, that that person does have a medical health condition. I can also change the size of my chart. So I can reduce the size, again, if I have a large number of students. I can choose to do that if I want to. And I can change the dimensions of my seating chart. So let's say instead of six columns, I want to make 10. It's just going to widen the number of columns that I have. And then I can edit my seating chart to fill those columns if I choose to. That's about it for preferences. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your aspects. Thanks.